What is up YouTube? This is Instinct to bring you guys a video on how to win offense on the map Freight. Now this video is going to go along with how to win defense on the map Freight, but obviously I'm going to teach you guys how to be effective on the offense side only. Now like I said in my defense uh, part of this sort of series, uh, I talked about how penetration on defense is something that you don't want to happen. On defense, you want to keep your team locked in, watching all the alleys, to make sure that nobody gets in behind your team. Now on offense, that is going to be your goal. Your goal in offense is going to be to penetrate through the defense and get in behind them and just create a mess, okay? So for example, if I'm in this building, you know, trying to watch, you know, a lane or trying to watch a cross, and I have people in behind me, then it becomes a mess because now I have to turn around, look around, and I can't focus on what I need to focus on, and that creates gaps. And that's what you want to do on offense. You want to create gaps and you want to penetrate through the offense so that they don't really know what to do. Now, how you're going to do that is through a multiple of ways. You know, you can penetrate through the left side, you can go up the middle, you can go through the right side. I'm going to show you a little bit of everything. Now off the start, what I would highly recommend that you do is you send at least one person over here to close up this under, underground. Because if people rush under there, you're in trouble. If you don't close that, you're in trouble if people rush under there and they get in behind you. Because on offense, people shouldn't be getting behind you. Rule number one. Okay. Now, if you want to go this left side path, what you're going to have to do is clear this left side. So you're going to have to clear you know, this bottom Owens. You're going to have to clear that window, that alley. And you're going to have to clear this bottom area out and probably when you cross maybe 10 building. Now that's a lot to do, but it's a little bit easier than it sounds. Okay, what I would recommend is maybe trying to pop this corner right here. Make sure uh, nobody is over there. A lot of times there'll be snipers way down that alley, so you have to be careful. I would use an assault rifle. Um, you can also hug this wall to see if there's anybody up in that building. Uh, but a lot of people tend to hard aim this door, so be careful of how many times you use this spot. Okay. If there's nobody up in that window, uh, I would quick in and out on this little door here to see if there's anybody in uh, that bottom um, Owens building. Now, once you're out here, you're pretty much good. If you can get out into this area right here without getting shot, you know, you're pretty much good. What I recommend that you do in order to see if there's anybody laying right there, because that's where I kill people all the time. Sorry, itchy back. Uh, is that you jump on this barrel, you find where it climbs and you climb right here. Right here, they can't see you, okay? Then what you do is you pop out right here and you shoot them, okay? I know that sounds like easier than it actually is, but a lot of people are assuming that you're gonna come way over here. Now, it is a big difference, I'll show you, for somebody that is laying right here when they're aiming, hard aiming right here, waiting for you to come out right there, for you to pop up right there. They're not going to expect it. So that's something that I use to make sure that nobody kills me from that underground or that bottom fire. Jump up right here, they still can't see you. Pop out, nail them, okay? Next, what you have to make sure, again, maybe nobody's in that window, is that nobody's uh, up in that middle tin. Once you don't see that anybody's in that middle tin, you can cross, generally you can get either bottom here or go in there. Um, maybe even if you wanna be really sneaky, you can try to sneak into here, uh, but generally you're gonna try to get picks before you do any of this. So I'd recommend you know, trying to maybe throw a stun up in there or you know, see what you can do to see if you can uh, pick anybody off. Another thing that I recommend that you do, I just wasted my stun, was if you can, in the beginning of the round, toss a stun or a nade, it works with both of them, right in front of this gate, right there. So I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so I'm just gonna cook a nade. Have it blow up right in front of that door. Now what that does is it opens the gate, and now you can go back through underground with the gate already broken and go through. Now, on the other team, they can hear that gate being broken, but you're not going through it right away, you know, because you're nowhere near. So a guy's probably going to pop out, come looking around here. They're not going to see you, and they're going to go back to what they're doing. A lot of times, somebody might transition and sit on this wood pile, so that's something that you have to be aware of. But if you're, you're stuck with options, and they have, you know, tin locked down, and they have this middle alley locked down, I would really suggest throwing a stun at that gate and pushing your team through, because chances are they only have maximum one person at B, because everybody goes to A. Okay? Now, how you penetrate through at A, a little different. It's a lot harder in terms of getting into this tin building because getting through this door right here is no easy task because everybody watches this door. In order to get through, what me and my buddies do is we'll do this, or me and my team, 
we'll send somebody in here and sort of make a distraction you know we'll shoot in here somebody will do something to get their attention here once we have their attention there somebody will climb this ladder you know make sure that there's nobody way back there jump on here and then we'll be in normally there's either somebody in that corner somebody that corner or somebody up top okay chances are if there's nobody there they're right under you but getting the attention to that door is going to be what you want to do because if you don't have their attention at that door yet they're going to be watching this climb up once you get their attention there they're gonna look at that door you come right in and you kill them okay that's how you get this tin control there are two things that you want to get control of you want to get control of tin and you want to see if you can get control of Owens once you have that you have the map then you're good okay if you are having somebody plant it a Okay, you want to get into two spots. You want to get onto this green uh, electrical thing here, okay, and plant the bomb. Or you can even sit here, but you're a lot more vulnerable. And you want to get into tin. You can get into either one, but both, you can get into one of them and have the other one still be, like, not needed. But both of them are going to be the most effective. So say you don't have tin yet, but you have this controlled you have somebody go plant a and you sit right here and they pop out of that tin window you're able to kill them most likely before they're able to kill your bomb guy okay so what I do a lot is say we can't get into tin you know we got one down or whatever um, I'll have my buddy go start planting a and I'll sit right here wait for somebody to either pop out at tin pop out at top Owens pop it out of that window uh, sometimes people even pop out right there but you're very hidden uh, and the only thing that they can see you from is uh, tin so that's a great way to uh, hold a control again if you don't have this middle area if they're controlling Owens really well I really suggest getting into tin trying to lock tin down sitting right here and there's no way they're gonna come around and kill them uh, unless they come underground right there they'll pop out right there they might from there get your bomb planter uh, but you'll be able to kill them before that uh, they kill you uh, so that's how you control a gonna do a little bit of how to control B um, once you get your guys back here, you really have to make sure that they're not watching this wood or they're not standing on this wooden, I guess, platform over here. And another thing that you really have to watch out for is when you cross. Now, people are going to be right there, right there. There's a little spot. I can't really see it uh, on the other side of that pallet. And they're also going to be right there watching this cross if nobody's back here chances are somebody's watching the cross now what you could do is you can sprint the cross hard also careful that there's nobody there so I would push somebody into that Owens building uh, sprint the cross hard if you don't see anybody then you can go back and check but if you see somebody somebody automatically has to get back here and cover back here okay so the person that sprints the cross first has to see if they can get around here and maybe lay right here to see when people are flanking around the rest of your team can come through but you have to be careful because then they're gonna flank around to you because they know where you are careful of nades on the B bomb um, once you get B control I recommend if you're not in a time crunch trying to get at least one or two kills uh, before they just flood you and uh, overwhelm you again guys offense is no easy task um, Offense is actually really hard on this map, so if you can get good at it and get those strats down, you're going to be very, very effective on this map for offense. Again, if you want to control A, you have to see if you can penetrate through their spawn. I would try to get somebody at least into Owen's building to try to give them a little bit of uh, trouble. Um, if you're trying to plant A, sit somebody on this green electrical thing or sit somebody inside tin. Again, if you want to see if you can get in tin, have somebody create distractions on that door, have somebody jump up here, or you can even try to flank around. Um, like I said, if you're trying to get B, it's going to be a little bit harder. Um, but again, penetrating through their team is going to be the best way to do that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun. Um, if you guys like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Thanks, guys.